My favorite projects in SQL Server always consist of automating things, and I think that's because it is packed with some wonderful tools that are easy to learn and make automation simple. In this nugget, we're going to take a look at the two primary tools that you can use to automate your backup processes. The first tool we're going to look at here is the tried and true SQL Server agent, another one of the core services here in SQL Server. SQL Server agent's primary function is to run scheduled jobs. So we can create jobs, place them on a schedule. We can even tie operators to them for notifications. We'll look at the notification side of things in the following nugget. Now, what we're going to do here with SQL Server Agent is create a job to back up all of our system databases. So all we need to do here is right click on the jobs node and choose new job. We'll give this step the name do backup. There we go. And then this is going to be a transact SQL type here. You can see there's other types in here, PowerShell, you'll see SQL Server Integration Services package here shortly, and a few others. So since this is Transact SQL here, we need to choose what database we're going to run this statement in. We'll run it in master, as these are a bunch of backup commands. And then I'll paste all of those backup statements in here. So we'll do a full backup of each one of these system databases. By the way, MSDB stores all of your SQL Server job information, historical information, and some other stuff. Model is our template database used uh, when you create a new database in master stores references to all the objects and everything here in sql server now if we head to the advanced tab here's where we can determine what we should do on success action we can go to the next step if we have a multi-step job here we can quit the job reporting success or failure and then when it fails what do we want to do quit the job reporting failure go to the next step or just ignore the failure we're going to go ahead and choose to quit the job reporting failure. So we'll keep the defaults here. And this looks good. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we can place it on a schedule. So we'll head down to schedules. We'll hit new. We probably want to back up our system databases once a week. So we'll call this the weekly schedule. This will be recurring. It will be enabled. And uh, we'll stick with the weekly default here. We'll run this on Sundays at midnight. So all the defaults look good here. We'll go ahead and hit OK. And now we have a schedule associated with this job. Once we hit OK, it'll create it. And there it is. So this job will now run every Sunday night at midnight to back up our system databases. We could give this a manual run as well. We can right click on it, choose to start the job at a step. We only have one step, so it's just gonna fire off. And that should back up all three of those system databases. If we head to the file system, there they are. So it looks like it finished successfully, and it did. Now the next tool we're gonna look at here is based on SQL Server Integration Services, otherwise known as SSIS, which is the master tool for automation here in SQL Server. One of the best, and it's really simple to learn and extremely powerful. Now, what I'm talking about here in Management Studio is known as maintenance plans, and you can find it underneath the Management tab here. There it is. Again, this is a really lightweight version of SSIS, essentially. So if we right-click on Maintenance Plan, we can go through the Maintenance Plan Wizard, which is extremely simple and uh, a great easy way to do it, but you get a lot more power and flexibility doing this from scratch. So I'm going to show you how we can build up a maintenance plan from scratch. Let's go ahead and create a new one here. And I'll give this the name Backup NLDB and hit OK. And that's going to open us up into the designer and also give us access to the toolbox here. Now I'm going to hide Object Explorer for the time being, bring out the toolbox, pin that down, and also push over Solution Explorer. Now how this works is we have subplans. These are the equivalent of steps in a SQL Server agent job. So we can add multiple subplans in here and then we'll have a separate designer for each one. And that's what this area down here is. This is the designer. We drag tasks on, we can hook them together and create one big flow of actions. So what we're gonna do here is create a backup process for full differential and transaction log backups against the NLDB database. And we're gonna put each one of those on their own subplan. So our first subplan here will be our full backup. And we can place this on its own schedule. So let's say we wanna perform a full backup of the NLDB database just once a week. And we'll also do that on Sunday, only we'll uh, make sure this happens after our system databases. So how about like 2 a.m.? There we go, perfect. So that's gonna run every Sunday at 2 a.m. Looks good. And then I'm gonna add a couple of more subplans into here. So here's our differential subplan. We'll put this on a daily schedule. Let's say we wanna run this one daily at uh, how about 3 a.m.? All right, that looks good. And then we need one more in here. This one will be our transaction log backup subplan. And let's put this on an hourly schedule. How about every couple of hours? So we'll run this daily every two hours. 
So with all three of these subplans now in place, whichever one is selected is the designer down here that you're working in. And let's start with our full backup here. The first thing you're probably going to want to do is run a database integrity check before we perform a backup. So you can just grab these tasks and drag them right onto the designer. After we perform the database integrity check, we're going to back up the database. So we'll grab this one and throw this in here as well. And the last thing we'll do is a maintenance cleanup task to remove all of the old backups that are older than a specific period of time. So now all we need to do is configure these and then connect them together. So let's go ahead and configure each one of these individual uh, individually here, our check database integrity task. We'll stick with the defaults. All we're going to do is just choose our database there, hit OK and hit OK. And that's done. Look at that. Now let's drag this line to connect it up to there. So this is going to run first. Then if it's successful, that's what the green line means, it will run the backup database task. Let's go ahead and figure this one here. Uh, so it's a full database backup, which is the default here. So all we need to choose is our NLDB database. There it is. We'll hit OK. And uh, notice this looks very familiar to backing up through Object Explorer, right? We choose our backup component, what we want to back up to. Here's our destination. And we're just going to switch this directory here to our backups directory uh, in the Nugget Lab directory here in the C drive. There it is. Perfect. And we can also create a subdirectory for each database. So we can create this plan here to target more than one database, all user databases, for example, and each one will get their own directory. So I'm going to leave this checked and we'll see that there will be a directory for all of these NLDB backups. We'll leave the default backup extension there. And then in options here, we have all the options we've covered in previous nuggets here. We can set up expiration, make it a copy only backup, perform a checksum after it's done, verify the backup integrity, encryption, as well as compression up here at the very top. So that all looks good. Let's go ahead and hit OK. And our full backup task is done. Now I'm going to drag this line over to our maintenance cleanup task, and we're going to configure this last. Again, this will clean up any files in whatever folder you specify with whatever extension you specify here based on this value right here. The default being four weeks, but you can get all the way down to the hour level. So I'm going to go ahead and choose our folder here as our Nugget Lab backups directory. There it is. And we'll specify our extension here as BAK. And we can choose to include the first level subfolders, which we want to do since we'll have multiple subfolders for each database since we chose that option previously. So this will clean up all those backup files and we are configured. Now I'm going to highlight all of these tasks and copy them onto the clipboard because we're going to head down to our differential backup sub plan and paste them in. We have a nice starting point now. We just need to modify a couple of leads. Let's modify our backup database task here to perform differential backups against the NLDB database. And on the destination tab here, we're going to change our backup extension to how about diff. There we go. And now our maintenance cleanup task, we can change this to diff as well. That way, this task will only target our differential backups. And this one's done. Now I'm going to do that again. I'm going to highlight all of this, copy it, and we'll head down to transaction log backups and do the same thing. We're going to turn these into transaction log backups. There we go. Select our database again here. Notice a little message. If you're under the simple uh, recovery model, it will be excluded. It's not. We're under the full re recovery model here, so we're good. Uh, destination, we're just going to change this to how about T-Log. There we go. And then options here, everything looks good. We'll hit OK. And finally, our maintenance cleanup task, we need to change our extension to T-Log. Perfect. And that's it. Now we can hit the Save button up here, and our maintenance plan is done. I'll close out of that, which will close out of our toolbox. Bring Object Explorer back to the forefront here. And notice down here in SQL Server Agent, we have three jobs. So yeah, it uses the scheduling portion of that package to run these jobs. And if you were to take a look at one of these, let me open one up here, go into steps. There's the step that it made. And if we open up the step, notice here that it's going to run a SQL Server integration services package, and it's pointing right to that package in the maintenance plans node. And by the way, you can actually see that up here under maintenance plans. Let me give this a refresh. And if a, if a, a maintenance plan only contains one sub plan, then you can just right click on it here and hit execute. But because we have multiple sub plans, it's going to say, nope, don't, you need to use SQL Server agent to execute the individual jobs. So let's test it out. Let's perform our full backup here. I'll right click, start the job. That should check database integrity, perform the full backup, and then perform the cleanup routine, uh, which obviously there won't be any to clean up. But if we head back here, we should see shortly here a directory made for NLDB. Oh, there it is. It just popped up, and there is our full backup. Cool. So that's done. Now let's test out our differential backup, doing the same thing here. We'll right-click, start the job, just give it a second to run, and we should see a diff 
show up in here as well with the .diff extension. There it is. One more here. How about our transaction log backup? We'll right click, we'll execute it, and if we head into the file system here, we should see that T-log file show up. Very cool. So those are the tools that you'll use to automate your backup processes. In the CBT Nugget, we learned how to automate our backups using SQL Server Agent and maintenance plans. I hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.